My name is Dominic Miller, I'm an actuarial analyst and this is Black Excellence. Can you tell us your name and your job title? So my name is Dominic, most people call me Dom and my job title is actuarial analyst and I work in the insurance industry. Can you tell us about your background and also your career journey? Uh, my background is, is Jamaica, that's where my heritage is. Um, I was born in the UK, and my both parents are born in the UK. In terms of how I got to where I am and, and my development, um, I grew up in London, in South London, and the area that I grew up in wasn't, wasn't the sort of area where you see a lot of people progressing to, I guess, university or, or, or to working in, especially in the industry that I work in now. So I think during secondary school, I didn't have necessarily the aspirations to to, to go to uni or to work in, in finance or in the city. Um, but it was only towards, I guess, I think like year 11 or like the, the final years that I met a few people who, who did have a positive influence on my life. And that really made me think okay, maybe there is things that I could do, that maybe I do have certain skills that I haven't uh, fully understood yet that I could use um, in some way. And then one of those skills was, was maths. So I was always good at maths, but as I said, I, I didn't know that, you know, what I could do with it or how far I could take it. So along that journey, uh, I've done my GCSEs, I found quite well in my GCSEs, um, and I went to college, I've done quite well in college. And then that led me to go to, to Loughborough University to do a, a degree in mathematics. And then eventually I'd done a master's as well. Along that route, I found out about the, the role of an actuarial analyst. And then I pursued that career path and that led me to be where I am today. To be an actuarial analyst, a lot of it is looking at, looking at data, looking at different sources of data and then using mathematical or statistical tools to be able to answer, well, what does this data show me? What, what can I do with this data? I guess from our perspective, the main thing that we want to know is what does this data tell me about what could happen in the future? And then if that does happen in the future, how is that going to impact the business? The way my company is a little bit unique, it, it does involve speaking to a lot of other companies. Uh, every insurance company, when, when they do their business, they need to, they need to almost project um, how much money they need to put aside in order to, to pay out their, their customers. So what insurance companies will do, they will send that information to us and then we need to look at how much money are they putting aside based upon what they could pay out. And then we need to judge, well, are they putting aside enough money to do that? Can you tell us a bit more about uh, what has inspired you? Sure, yeah, there, there was quite a few. If I had to pick one person, it was actually my, my, my math teacher. When I was in secondary school, you get to year 10, you, you get a, a math teacher who, who you'll see for year 10 and year 11. And I think up until that point, I didn't, I didn't really know that I was good at maths, I didn't really understand that maths was a, a talent of mine. He was somebody who really took time out for me and, and really um, I guess led by, by, by example and inspired me to, to learn more about maths and to see how maths could be applied in, in, in the wider world. Are there any challenges that um, you've faced um, that you would like to share with us, um, especially how you've overcome those challenges as well? Definitely, yeah. I think a major challenge even now I'm going through is, I guess, working in, in, in an industry that is, is predominantly a white industry and being in an industry where you know senior managers or, or people of authority or influence don't look anything like me or, or definitely don't don't come from my background. I think that's a challenge, even if it's not something that's obvious, it's definitely something that in the back of my mind can place a barrier as to where I could progress or or truly being myself and being comfortable in my environment. A way that I'm trying to overcome that is just being around other black people who, who are in the industry and encouraging one another. And also just realizing that even though around me, I might not see a lot of black people in, in certain positions, I still deserve to be there. I've worked hard to be there. 
and I've got every right as a as a black man, as a black person, to to be in that environment. Can you give an advice to a black young person who is aspiring to greater things here in the UK? There's quite a few, but I would definitely say if you can maybe get a mentor or, or, or somebody who who you can you can actively ask questions to, maybe meet up every now and again, somebody who you can bounce ideas off, somebody who, who's willing to, to just hear you out and, and possibly guide you through certain things and just to sort of guide you through what you're going through. But I think the main bit of advice would be just to not, not put any barriers on yourself and to believe that anything that you truly do put your mind to can be achieved. Um, that's the one bit of advice that, that I would give.